is going on, everybody? Today we are back with another UFC 3 mini-series. Ben Diaz, in the last episode, took on his mentor, Bruce Lee. Go check out that video. And today... Uh, or after that match, Ben Diaz got a phone call from his other brother, Nick, saying, Why the hell did you beat up Nate? I'm gonna come kick your ass. So, Ben versus Nick. Brother versus brother, part two. Who will be the best Diaz brother? And again, Ben spells it with an S, Nick and Nate spell it with a Z. So let's get into this. Ugh. Oh my god, we have a lot of arenas left. I'm just gonna go to the one that I know. Uh, no. So, brother versus brother, part two. And let's get into it. At the United Center in Chicago, Illinois. Because I don't even know the other arenas. Like the O2 arena. I'm only gonna do the ones that I know. <laughs> Good to see this talented fighter make the walk again once tonight. Gotta think he'll look to use his speed and footwork in this fight. Those appear to be his biggest advantages. Maybe not the most powerful guy on the roster necessarily, but exceptionally quick on the feet. Very good at using his feet to set up angles for his offense. Has fans buzzing about their debut? Brawler. Has recently burst onto UFC. But also not afraid to enter the pocket to stick and move. Great job of moving that head off the center line. Just an outstanding striker who brings a lot of different attributes to the table. This guy has extremely unusual kicking speed. His technique is outstanding, and there is no wind-up to his movement. Here comes his brother. Black Belt Brazilian Jiu Jitsu under the legend Caesar Gracie, the 209 rep out of Stockton, California. Here is Nick Diaz, one of the biggest fan bases in the sport. He has challenged for UFC titles. He was in the UFC in 2003, eventually returned. Pro since 2001, great endurance, has lost 10 Nick fights in Diaz, career. Polarizing to some, making the walk yet again tonight. Nick Diaz combines attitude with elite cardio, a black belt in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, and outstanding boxing to make for a dangerous combination inside the octagon. Ben Diaz is taking on his second brother. In the for this highly anticipated welterweight fight. 34, 23, the same height, the same weight. He will have a two inch and Nick has a two inch reach. You know more? So, ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, the referee in charge, Herb Dean. And this is the current UFC so the three brothers Nick Diaz is the oldest Nathan is the middle and Ben is the youngest This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He's 
Nick Diaz is trying to get revenge over his brother Nathan here. Brother versus brother part two. Oldest versus Nathan. The brothers are actually really good brothers, but they're in a really fight. They're in a really good fight right now. All right, here we go. Oh my God, Nick! He just walked away from his brother from touching gloves. Oldest brother versus youngest brother. Oh! Ben tried to touch gloves with Nick this time. And he didn't want none of that. Nick versus Ben. Ben Diaz has only had one match that's gone past the first round. That says a lot. Just out of range with that strike. And he lands another leg kick there. He's already landed several in this round and really starting to do some appreciable damage to his opponent's lead leg. Clean inside leg kick. Nasty combinations here. Oh! What a leg kick! Oh, straight right. Ben really likes unpredictable and mixing things up here. Snaps off the jab effectively there. Wow, he's got more here. Nice leg kick. Visibly limping here. Oh my goodness. We might get a stoppage here soon. Oh my goodness! Beautiful ground and pound KO. Yeah, Joe, that was some outstanding ground and pound to get the opponent out of there. He was throwing big shots there on the ground, man. Not just looking to score, but actually. And Ben Diaz just asserted himself, the dominant brother. Elbows, punches, hammer fists, everything seemed to be working for him here tonight. Check it out again. And here we see it again. Boom. <laughs> so a huge result and a seminal moment for him here tonight as he gets the big knockout win. That could hold up as one of the better KOs of the year. Ladies and gentlemen, we're ready for the game to start this contest. Three minutes, nine seconds to the very first round. The very winner, Bob. So just the way he drew it up here tonight, what a monumental moment and knockout to get his hand raised here tonight. He kept the judges out of it. He has certainly set himself up for a major opportunity here moving forward. But you can be sure tonight is about this knockout. He'll be celebrating deep into the night with his friends, his family, his coaches. Congratulations on a big KO tonight. Ben Diaz just asserted himself. Go. The dominant brother out of his three brothers. And he's the youngest of his brothers. He defeated both of his brothers in the first round. I think he he got Nathan quicker than he got Nick. But first he defeated his the brother that was close in age to him and then he beat up his oldest his older brother.
<laughs> Hopefully you guys enjoyed another part of UFC mini series. Hopefully you enjoyed, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.